Um, awesome. <laughs> Welcome to our Fierce Friday call. My name is Allison, and I'm tuning in from Montreal, Canada. And I have Naeva in Hawaii and Sherry in Montreal as well, just down the street here. And um, we're here to have an amazing uh, conversation. Today's call is called A Plateful of Possibilities. And just showing the power that we have to improve in all areas of our life, whether you're on the spectrum or not, we're going to be focused today on people who are on the spectrum and certain support to help improve, you know, um, this is, I just want to preface, this is not saying anything is wrong with anyone. When we talk about solutions in improvement, we're talking about bringing out the greatness and, you know, the best in everyone. And truly uh, being on the spectrum is a gift if it's in the right environment. And, you know, unfortunately in our current system, there's a lot of things to make us feel like we're not enough or we're not fitting in. And here we are breaking free of those shackles, breaking out of the boxes. And this is what we do as a million mom movement, as a community is to celebrate and empower people, give people a voice who didn't have one before. And to improve the quality of everyone's life in, in every way that we can. And so um, I'm so honored to be a part of the Council of the Million Mom Movement, which MOM does stand for Movement of Many, because this is an all-inclusive. This is not just for moms. This is for all caregivers, all people who care, all people, you know, who are, who, who want to see the future generations who want to see the the everyone thrive and especially the younger generations and for generations to come this is a movement that we are we are growing because education is is so beautifully contagious and so we we can share each other's stories this is a place to um give a voice and to educate and empower to for us to be our own advocates you know because we need so much to understand more about ourselves and the fact the the facts that our bodies can drastically you know heal themselves if given the right environment and so i'm not we don't say anything heals but we say that we can give the environment that we can thrive all of us have the potential to thrive in to the best of our own abilities and this is celebrating people on the whole spectrum you know and the spectrum is a broad term uh to you know um people who are neurodivergent, uh, who are wired a little differently, who they, you know, there's um, some certain, you know, it's on the spectrum of autism, but there's so many different characteristics to how that plays out. And so there's amazing gifts in that. And then um, like with everything, there comes challenges if we're not nurturing right. So we wanna help people to achieve how they can really truly hone into their gifts and their special, uh, purpose here. So we're going to be hearing from Chantel, who um, is an amazing friend who's, uh, you know, living and sharing and thriving right now on the spectrum. And so it's so important to hear from voices of people who are living it and who are finding ways to um, really empower themselves and to become, step into leadership. No matter who they are, we need leaders of all different kinds out there. So um, we are, we have a pledge. If anyone would like to volunteer to read today's pledge, can I get a hand up if I see Pamela, please unmute yourself. And thank you, Pamela. You're one of our special members as well. So please unmute yourself. Hello. I love reading the pledge. So <clears throat> I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement. That's powerful. Oh, thank you. Can you share why why is that powerful for you? Oh, uh, Pamela, you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> I always go ahead and mute myself when the I get asked the question. Why is it powerful? Because the more that 
the more that I share with people about what we do and more the more people that are like like you know sort of waking up to nutrition and realizing what they're feeding their kids and going through drive throughs and stuff like that the more I see people going you know I got to put better food into my kids mm. I mean that makes especially this call even more important and I am going to pledge to invite more people to this call because it is very 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 important we we have to take care of our kids or they're going to grow up into sick adults and that can happen so that's why it's important well and that's why we share our story because we can share that we've been through that and we've awakened to new ways that have helped improve our life. And we can share those stories. And those stories are what makes the difference. People seeing you, um, you know, Pamela today, I know your story where you've come from. So I just know that, you know, you are a living, walking, breathing inspiration to so many people. And it requires these, this space, this community to share so many different voices so that people can see hope. They can see themselves and they can see, you know, other people that they can relate with out there. So um, thank you so much, Pamela, for being a voice and for pledging to invite more people. That is how we absolutely, you know, grow this movement. It is um, a movement of, you know, yeah, if we if we each invite, you know, 10 people, we will have a million people on this, you know, in this movement, absolutely very soon. And it's growing every day. So uh, thank you so much for reading that. Um, and, and, you know, nutrition plays, it is something that the conventional systems don't look at and they're taught where we were taught, you know, as in my experience from a young age, not to look at, you know, it wasn't really brought up when I was dealing with my own, um, mental health challenges. So it is so important to educate, you know, we need to know as moms, as caregivers, as kids, as, as adults, um, whoever gets exposed to information that we can share that there's, there's things we can be avoiding. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about that, but there's so many things that we could add in that is, you can meet everyone where they're exactly at and will change their, you know, their, their wiring and their taste, um, their cravings and, and certain reasons why they were craving the bad foods and now they're not right. So we have so much power when we take it, when we decide to take that power and to educate ourselves and to make better choices, the more we know. So um, I think we have an in the news. Uh, so Sherry, please, uh, if you can share what is in the news for today. All right, so, okay, I have the article over here. Um, okay, before I get into the article, I just wanna say, uh, Pamela, I loved what you said about our, our pledge, um, especially when it comes to our children. I absolutely agree. Um, I think that's so much of um, our opportunity to awake to healthier lifestyles um, can really be sort of the opportunities present themselves through our children or children we know or just children in general when you look at another generation um, and how they're growing up and we see trends you know in diseases we see trends in um in mental health issues um you know we should all want better we should all want better for ourselves but we should all want better for them um, and my uh, story is no different in that sense i was already um, on a health journey, I was becoming a holistic nutrition and health coach when my son was diagnosed with something, he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And um, that truly awakened me. It shifted my path. Um, I remember, you know, doctors and, and, and just people in general, like looking at my son and, and saying, you know, and basically saying, well, these are his restrictions now. These are his limitations moving forward. And I never resonated with that at all. Um, you know, people see him, you know, taking his insulin and they, you know, they, they have a they feel bad for him. And, and I don't want people to feel bad for him because if anything, uh, we have come to understand this myself and, and my family, we've come to understand this as an opportunity. Um, so it's an opportunity for him to better understand his body, which I believe is the same for 
you know, people who are on the spectrum, right? It's an opportunity um, and everybody comes with their own special gifts and passions and, and you know, ways of be of service in the world and a diagnosis should not stop that or limit a person in any way whatsoever. So for my son at 13 years old, he already knows more about how his body operates than most adults that I work with today. So I see that as a positive, absolutely. Um, and uh, what the article is about today is a regenerative farming. And this is something when we're talking about organic foods and we're talking about glyphosate and we're talking about regenerative farming and why it's so important this speaks to everybody so diagnosis or not on the spectrum or not we can all benefit from learning more about this um glyphosate is something that we all need to know about um and there's not enough awareness about it uh, to give you an example when i was going through my schooling to be a holistic nutrition and health coach it, it it was never even touched on it was all the you know herbicides pesticides were kind of grouped in this very um, generalized term. And, you know, of course, organic is better, try to choose organic, but no one ever explained um, glyphosate and what it's doing to the state of our soil. I graduated without ever knowing that. And I find that that is such a key piece of information. You know, we need to know this, not just because I'm a health coach, do I need to know this to educate others, but we all need to as consumers. And that's what I love about this article is that it talks about how shoppers and consumers should be assured that whatever they're purchasing is going to be making a positive impact at every level. So every level meaning environmental, ethical, social, and with our health, right? And how often can we actually say that? We walk into a grocery store and we look around a web, you know, we look at the aisles, how many things do we put in our cart where we can for 100% certainty know that it's not only going to benefit our health or the health of our family, um, but it's going to benefit the environment, that it's being made ethically, right? That it's being um, uh, harvested in such a way to truly uh, encapture all of those nutrients, of phytonutrients, enzymes, everything that our bodies thrive on and need with none of that other stuff, none of those toxins, none, none of the glyphosate. Um, I was having a conversation with a client the other day who was asking me like, how can I ensure that what I'm buying doesn't contain glyphosate? I'm like, well, unfortunately you can't. You know, uh, there are ways that we can help avoid it as much as possible. And again, it speaks to that this in this article, we want to be choosing organic. And that's why more, thankfully, we have a, you know, there is a, a good amount. I want to say a good amount. I don't really know if that's true, but there are many farmers um, that are recognizing the importance of that, that are recognizing the importance of going out and getting that certification, that are recognizing the importance of regenerative farming. Um, and so... You know, as consumers, we need to know where we're buying, who we're buying from, um, and we need to understand the um, the what glyphosate is doing to our soil, what it's doing, what, how it's affecting the amount of minerals that our foods are containing, and how that is then creating that same deficiency within our bodies. Our bodies mimic nature, right? So if the, the, the microbiome of the soil is being damaged by glyphosate, which means that the crops being grown there are being grown with like 75% less of the vitamins and minerals that it once contained. Well, what happens when we eat those foods? We're not getting the same amount of vitamins and minerals that we once did. I read a, I read a study just recently that said um, that today to get the amount of iron that we would need to from spinach, today we need to have about 68 servings in one day to get our daily allowance of iron from, from spinach. Whereas if we go back to 1948, we only needed one serving to get our daily allowance. That gives you a really good idea of what is happening to the state of our soil and what is happening to the state of our food. And so when we look then, of course, at diagnosis that are happening, right? Disease in the body, um, we can link it back to deficiencies. We link it back to all of these toxins within our bodies to glyphosate toxicity. Um, and so I'm going to, I didn't want to read through this article because it's sort of, it's an interview going back and forth between two people. So it would have been hard. I didn't want to just kind of get into the nitty gritty and read it all to you. But I will, of course, provide the link um, in the comments. And so you guys can go ahead and take a look. It has some really great info um, in terms of regenerative farming, in terms of some of the certifications that are required um, and how to go about that. It even mentions a couple of different companies, products that you you can, you know, that you can uh, take a look at knowing that they are getting these certifications. So with that, I'll send it back to you, Allison, and I'll put this in the in the comments, in the chat. Thank you so much, Sherry. It is so, yes, so important that we have a connection 
to where our food comes from and to inquire, you know, to learn a little bit, to read ingredients, to educate ourselves, empower ourselves, because we, at the end of the day, you know, this is our only home and we need to empower, we need to be our own health advocates because and a lot of us have fallen through the, the cracks of systems that, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, there's certain purpose for these systems as well, but we can't depend on them for, um, for our healing, for our health. So, um, we're going to hear from Chantal and, um, I think, uh, or should I, should, I'm just thinking, I'm like, should I get into the nutrition? Cause I know, um, we have a, uh, an amazing from Dave's call. Dave has listed some amazing foods that we, you know, want to, um, share with you. I'm going to first, uh, would love to have, um, Chantal share, um, because so first I think, and then, yeah, so, um, Really, I'm so happy to have Chantel share because Chantel is an adult living with, you know, being on the spectrum and we need people's voices out there heard who are living with it, who are experiencing um, benefits. So before I get into, you know, what uh, we can take, I'd love to have Chantel share, you know, a little bit of her journey um, and give her a chance to um take, take the stage to just share about what has helped her ma navigate this journey and to improve her er in all areas of her life. So, um, please unmute yourself, Chantel, and please give us your share. Hello. Thanks for having me. Um, is it that you want me to share how the nutrition has helped me on my path? Um, yeah, just, you know, cause we're going to go into some of the nutrition for sure that, um, you know, we will, we'll talk deeper about it, but if you can just share from like your own experience, um, you know, what was the mindset shift for you to even be open to taking this, you know, step in your healing? Um, what, you know, what happened, where were you at? What was the, um, you know, what was the, that turning point for you to, take that to, to step into that empowerment. I see you now as such a like glowing radiant leader, um, you know, and it's just so inspiring, but I want to hear a little bit like what changed for you and what has helped you to get to where you are now to be an advocate and speaking um, so, so beautifully about it. Well, um, when I first discovered that I was autistic, I was 30 years old. And so um, I, I went a long time in my life, not realizing what my struggles were, not being able to put a name to them. So after I was diagnosed, I went through a period of, um, I want to say almost like coming to terms with the pain that I experienced growing up with without knowing why I struggled the way that I struggled. And that caused me to go through a period of having quite a bit of um, anger and um, hurt around um, what I was discovering about how, how people would treat me or um, just opportunities that I may have missed or um, things like that. And then um, seeing myself in the reflection of the other autistic people that I was meeting and hearing their stories and and seeing the reflection of their pain and, and feeling that in myself as well. Um, it put me in a space of like an, almost like an angry activism where I was very um, guarded against people telling me like anything that might be construed as trying to change me in some way um, because I recognized that I do have a lot of strengths and talents and I, I really appreciate who I am and getting to be who I am in this body and having this mind. Um, so there, there definitely was a wall there um, where I wasn't hearing any of the helpful suggestions that might come through for me. Um, but at a certain point, I decided that it would be better for me to just not um block everything out and that it's it it is true that there are struggles with this as much as there are strengths and I decided that I should open myself up to 
um, learning about how I can relieve those struggles so that I can really embrace the strengths and and shine in them without without the the, the unnecessary suffering that I might be able to alleviate if I take better care of my body. What an amazing realization, like coming, because I, I know that's kind of the common stages when you first learn that, like, you know, that you, there's something wrong with you or something, you know, there's like the first reactions are, you're going to go through the motions of, of, you know, levels of reaction where the first one it's normal would be anger and anger towards a system that has, you know, d didn't allow a space for pe like you, people like us, to you to, to, um, to fit in and to like, you know, be celebrated. And I think there's, um, it's, it's actually, you know, a health, a healthy amount of anger is, is good when we're awakening up because it's like, like, you know, to make action, to take any action, you have to kind of get a little angry. So that's a very important part of the process, but I love that you shifted that anger into, um, to releasing that and seeing that you could actually, um, you know, use what you have have as a gift and to know that you know there is um there there there's there's huge gifts in it and like you said if we treat our body right we can activate our full potential of our gifts so um so what it, 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 uh, you started this um with the ultimate i think you started with the ultimate lifestyle transformation right well when i first it was introduced to Perium. I started with the gut health pack. Okay. And um, I would periodically purchase more products, but I wasn't being very consistent at first. But since about, uh, I would say, August up until now, um, it's been back to back ultimate lifestyle transformations. And it's been absolutely life changing on every level. Like I'm just opening up to my personal power. I'm opening up to um, different levels of understanding. I'm I'm dropping my fears. I'm um, I'm doing things that I didn't think I was capable of doing before. Um, my body is getting healthier. I've lost almost a hundred pounds. I'm creeping up on that hundred pound mark. Uh, I've released toxins. My brain is functioning more clearly. Um, just, you know, any level of health that you can think of, I'm surpassing what I thought was possible for myself. That is, so that is so, so beautiful. You guys got to check out her incredible transformation. If you can put your um, Instagram handle there and people can follow you and you know cheer you on because you are such an inspiration i've watched from you know um because i didn't know you before so i just have been um, privileged to watch you rise and shine and it is just a great privilege in this you know and and that it, now you're in a role of not only like healing yourself i know you're actually helping people so um yeah like um you know, what would you like to, like your, you know, your community to know? Um, Cause I know you said that you were closed to solutions for the, the fear of someone trying to change you or make you feel like there's something wrong with you. Um, and I know you're an advocate now, you know, in the community. So what would you uh, like to share for, for people out there listening? I would say that we should probably um, do our best to examine our triggers and uh, reflect on why it makes us feel the way that it makes us feel when people suggest things that could improve our lives. Um, for me, it was because deep down there was an internal belief that maybe I wasn't good enough or maybe there was something wrong with me. And so I would react at the suggestion of anything that might point in that direction, but it's it's not even about um, fixing us or curing us or, you know, anything like that. It's about allowing us to thrive, allowing us to reach our full potential as human beings. And a lot of us have incredible potential because you know, being on the spectrum can come with so many powerful gifts. 
And if we free ourselves from the struggles um, that we could potentially be suffering, we can embody our gifts and we can become who we were meant to be on this planet. And I feel like that's so important for us to do because I really believe that we have an important role to play here. Well, thank you so much. And everyone deserves to feel their best. And I think, you know, this came to you when you were ready, like you said, you were ready to hear it. You were ready to love yourself. You know, there's a, um, it, it won't reach everyone, uh, depending on where they're at in their journey. Um, but for those who are, you know, ready to accept and release the, you know, the anger and resentment and just look into how we can. Um, so one of the gifts that I, I say, um, I feel super at ease when I'm in the presence of people on the spectrum, because there's a just an honesty and uh, a level of, of um, un, uh, you know, not even able to be not authentic, you know, it's actually like not even possible, because it is just like, you know, I think a lot of people on the spectrum is just that that's to me a gift to be, you know, truly um, authentic and real. And this is also, you know, our founder and owner, uh, Dave is a high functioning person on the spectrum as well. And so um, it's what first allowed me to even ease my, my, I felt the energy. I, I felt it before he even said that because there, I feel at ease when I'm in the presence of people who are wired a little differently. Maybe it's because I am too. And it just, it's, you know, the world needs more voices that are authentic and raw. And so, um, thank you for sharing, for being a voice and please continue to, um, just keep on sharing and being a voice. We're going to talk a little bit about what Dave recommends for nutrition. And if there's something at the end, Chantal, that you want to pipe in and share about what's really helped you, please um, raise your hand again and share. Um, so, and please, everyone in the comments as well, use the comments to share, you know, what has improved your life. Dave has given some amazing, um, amazing tools that we can all benefit from, whether we're on the spectrum or not. But uh, I know that this is targeted towards specifically people on the spectrum but everyone can benefit. So um, one of the, um, so one of the main, uh, what they see in people who are struggling on the spectrum, because, you know, there's levels of functionality and people who are really struggling is there's usually a lot of deficiency and a lot of um, gut microbiome uh, depletion imbalance. And so really it's important, like we're, we're going to say always, it's the most important is to address the gut. You know, the gut is our brain. It is one and the same. And all of our chemicals, our, our serotonin, our um, happy chemicals are made in the gut, our, our, our uh, you know, the mind, the mental hormone. So everything mind is, it's like there, you're going to, it's going to reflect in how we think. And so if we are not able to function and really, you know, at the mercy of our emotions and our uh, the, the waves that come over us that we're out of control, that's like an, an impact, like, you know, we need to support that. So we really want to support the gut, which we have something called biomedic. I know that everyone here um, probably knows about it. Biomedic is a gut repair. Like it is a, it aids in the repair of the gut and also detoxification of glyphosate. So there we have some information on this incredible product, which has just helped me so much with my mental health. And it comes together with, you know, most people will start with a gut repair protocol, like the ultimate lifestyle transformation, which is an accelerated gut repair. It's like a loading dose to really get the, um, you really want to get like the full, everything works together. You want to, you know, be adding the living enzymes as you're improving the gut, as you're detoxing. And so this is doing all those things in this protocol that's so easy to follow and has amazing structure. So I always tell people, you know, the best place to start as a minimum base is the ultimate lifestyle transformation. And that goes with across the board, whatever your health goals are. Um, now, specifically for people on the spectrum, because they're, we need, we need more living enzymes, we need more enzymes. So the green juice is incredible, um, of course, but we also want to, you know, add in um, yeah, like the, the spirulina is in, is a, like nature's multivitamin, very amazing for iron and especially mixed with sea from nature. 
so that we can actually absorb, it helps in the absorption of iron. So for people who are on the spectrum, we see very often is a depletion of iron and B12, um, which is going to, um, like, you know, have we uh, typical um, results of iron deficiency is mental fog and lethargy and low energy. Um, and so spirulina with C from nature, which is an important combination. We really have to look at food combinations and how they work together. So, or uh, zinc aid. So zinc aid as well has, is like a multivitamin and has all the vitamin C as well as the A, D and the E. So you're getting like, um, you know, that's an amazing multivitamin and you can take the C from nature and the zinc aid. They both have a very high amount of vitamin C. I take both, but you know, they can also be interchanged. Um, then we have apothecary and okay. There's the zinc aid. You can see the ingredients are just incredible. This is all, it's also important. It's not just about the vitamins. It's about the source of the vitamin. So all of these vitamins that you see are all from whole food, all organic whole food. So that is what makes Purium different from other companies because yeah, you can go to the pharmacy and buy a score vitamin C, but what are you going to read on the back of the label? If you read labels, right? Like we do, it's ascorbic acid. So that is not what's going to get into the cell and do that. You know, it's not, it's, it's, our body doesn't really recognize that. That may be in, um, in situations where they don't have access and here we do have access. So it's so important that we are where are the sources of these enzymes, these are living enzymes. Um, apothecary. So sleep, sleep is so important, deep, restful sleep. Uh, so oftentimes I know parents with kids on the spectrum struggle with just, um, sometimes, you know, there's like sleep disorders are involved. And so, uh, we really want to make sure that our children and, and as adults and uh, wherever we are in our journey, that we're getting our deep restful sleep so we can function to the highest of our ability. Like I was actually very, I, I was, personally sleep deprived and no one took a look at that when I was diagnosed with like my learning disabilities. And I really think if I had a tool to help me calm down at night, not only does this help activate our own melatonin production, but it also calms the nervous system. So at night kids can get, and I know as a mom of two kids and without the right support and the right nutrition, kids can get off the walls at night and have their most hyperactive um, and maybe tantrums, overtired, you know, we've been there. I think all parents have been there at one point where it's just like you get past that point and it's very hard to calm a child down. So apothecary calms the nervous system and it's all just organic tart cherry. And then we also have pineal clear. And I've been giving, by the way, I've been giving this to my kids since they're like one and a half and four and they sleep amazing and they look forward to it every night. It tastes delicious. So you can even mix it. And we, we suggest also mixing in some of this pineal clear. Um, so this is really, I mean, I just started taking it. We had a, a few calls now on it where, you know, amazing shares. If you want to learn more, this is just, a, this is one of our newer products and a brand new product. And I've already seen huge benefits in my quality of sleep and my, um, my creativity. Like just, this is the center of the brain. The pineal gland is where we have our, like, it's like our, it's, it's the intuition. It's the, you know, that inner voice. Okay. So when we start to decalcify, when we start to calcify with time, with the poor diet and the glyphosate and, you know, pollutants in our environment, we are dulling that shine that we had as a child, right? So this brings us back to our shine. This is what I'm feeling from this. It is really has incredible, um, incredible brain uh, function ingredients. So even this, uh, this harataki fruit, I was just learning today is a huge brain support. Like I was just learning specifically about it. Um, and uh, I think in the formula, actually originally, I just learned this today, a little fun fact, but they tried to get it into the formula when it was first being made, the dark berry, our love meal. It used to be called love dark berry in, in Europe. That's what it's called. So I was speaking to the formulator today and they were trying to get that actually fruit into that blend. That dark berry, I just want to say, was actually designed, it wasn't an anti-aging um protein uh, at first, it was marketed as a brain, uh, a brain shake. So if you read the ingredients of that shake, the dark berry protein has all these adaptogenic mushrooms, the lion's mane um, has, uh, what is it, Jack? Nootropics, N-O-O, 
T R. I just learned this new word, new tropics, new tropics. So look it up. I mean, this is amazing for brain health. So that was in my next thing was the, um, uh, dark berry. And I love to mix the dark berry and the green juice together. If you buy the customizable uh, ULT, you can get both of those in there or the collagen. It comes in the collagen support pack, but don't be misled that this is just for collagen or just for protein. This is a, like, an incredible formula for brain health. So um, yeah, that and the green juice just every day, you know, flooding our cells. And like you were saying, Sherry, about the spinach being this, you know, here we are as moms being like, eat your few pieces of spinach on your plate to get like your nutrients. Like what is, first of all, usually it's been wilted and like, you know, losing all the living enzymes. Usually we're actually steaming it a little bit or, you know, adding it into a dish. It's the nutrition is like essentially so minuscule. Okay. And here we are fighting with our kids. I used to fight with my kids to eat those few pieces of like a bite of spinach. I would like fight with my child for, right? We don't need to struggle that hard. We can get them. I got my baby when she was like a year and a half. She was drinking her green juice in a bottle. Now, just that little amount of green juice that she was getting every day was more nutrition than most people, most we were able to get in most kids in a week. So um, just, it makes life as a mom so much easier and less stressful. And by the way, it all tastes amazing. So there's, you know, of course with, you know, kids on the spectrum, there's going to be a little bit more fussiness, a little bit more like, I don't want it to be this color. You know, a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, there's, there's just like a, a lot of tendencies within, you know, people on the spectrum to, you know, it's really hard as a, as a, I know as, as even feeding my kids who are like picky eaters, um, to get them to have new things. But what we have as well for kids is a chocolate shake that has the biomedic built in, has all of these ingredients built in. And that is such an easy and delicious shake. And there's so many ways that I've been able to incorporate that before they were able to drink it as a shake, I would make fudgicles with it, like just coconut cream and blended with it, or, um, you know, a frozen banana, like, you know, or banana blended, and then you freeze it. There's different ways you can make fudgicles with it. Um, or there's like, you know, adding it into their cereal or their brownies or, you know, whatever they like, you just add, you can find, get creative. I really want to encourage the mamas out there or the caretakers to get creative, not just give up if the kid, if, if your child doesn't like it after one sip, you know? Um, and it takes time. It took, it took time and persistence to get my kids to thoroughly embrace and love it. And you know what else really helps? And this is why I'm so grateful for this community. It really helps to see other kids. And so, you know, showing, having Naeva's kids and, and Taz's kids, like for my kids growing up, watching these other children in the community, drinking their shakes is what really, really um, got my kids to be more open. So kids influence kids. We just need, we need more kids voices out there. And even I have parents calling my, uh, calling me saying my daughter was talking to me about this green juice that your daughter drinks every day. What, what is this green juice? Like I've had amazing, my parents, my kids are sharing it with their friends. So um, you know, kids do once they understand more, once they, you know, okay, there's, there's a, like a, a lot of learning curve in it and it could take time, but you'll find your way to get this into your children's bodies. You know, this is something that it just takes, it does require creativity and persistence and leading by example, always leading by example. That's all, all we can really do. Um, in focus, which is another one that is marketed to kids. Okay. In focus, but it is amazing for adults as well. So in focus, um, is helps, you know, is what it says. And there's amazing ingredients in that one as well. That is, you know, I'm just, I was excited to take it. It tastes good. It doesn't, it doesn't taste bad at all. Uh, my daughter actually really likes it, which I'm so happy about. I had my, I, because I had learning disabilities um, growing up and I was always, you know, parents, uh, teachers were always asking to speak to my parents and have special meetings. I had that same thing happen when my daughter started school and I got scared because the teacher was like, I want to have a special meeting with you. You know, Rhea's not um, able to focus in class. And she was saying some of the same things that I remember teachers saying to my parents. Okay. And so I got, this is before Purim came into my life. When Purim came in and I started giving her these things, um, I didn't hear back from that teacher. And I actually asked the teacher at the end of the year, this was when she was in kindergarten. I said, how's, you know, I didn't hear from you anything. Like, how's Rhea doing? She's, it's great. It's, it's amazing. She's been like so much better. She's, she's writing, she's reading, like she was like really focusing. And so I know it made a huge difference in my daughter's behavior and focus and everything. So in focus, adult, adults can absolutely take it too. I was taking Ritalin. I wish 
my whole life, I wish that someone knew about uh, these uh, op options, options, because we need to know options. Okay, not everyone is going to take this route, but let's let's just please share that there are uh, natural ways that we can greatly improve, way more improve, because the Ritalin and that stuff is just a band aid, and it doesn't get to any root. It actually causes more problems later that they're going to have to heal from, like I did. So let's all you know do our part, like Pamela said, to prevent our our children from having to go through what we did. Um, so there's in focus. Then I wanted to get to, um, so one of the things that we see with a lot of um, mental health issues, but especially also on the spectrum is heavy metals being present, you know, and, and that could be a result of being on medications because right now, unfortunately, with people, with kids on the spectrum, they are prescribing medications. A lot of them are given antidepressants or um, even those uh, like Ritalin type of medications and all of those and, you know, with other things in the medical you know, world that, and, and in our air, in our pollution, and we're exposed to it all around heavy metals. And so uh, we really want to do the, the, we see huge differences. I saw a huge difference in my mental health when I started detoxing with heavy metals. So we do have two amazing products in Purium that really aid in the chelating and removal detoxing of heavy metals. That is cracked cell chlorella and fulvic zeolite. So, you know, crack cell chlorella is green. Um, so it may be harder to get your kid sometimes. Like I, my daughters actually love it, which is so awesome and cool. It tastes good. I actually think it tastes good. They chew it. Um, but there's also, you know, we have it in a, in a powder form, which could be added into things, or we have it in these little tablets. And this is, yeah, this is nature's, you know, um, this is, it has incredible enzymes as well as it's, it's and protein, as well as it's detoxing heavy metals, very very naturally um, by binding to them and allowing them to pass through us in our urine. So we're we're releasing heavy metals with these uh, incredible binders. And then we have fulvic zeolite, which may be easier to get if your child is not open to eating the uh, cracked cell chlorella. So um, definitely you, there's options for people, however you want. I started with the fulvic zeolite when I was first, uh, Taz, who shared this with me, I was on five medications when I started this. And so she said right away, you need like, you know, on top of the ultimate lifestyle transformation, you absolutely need to add on the fulvic zeolite. And I'm so grateful that she made that suggestion to me because I really, I don't think I would have had as big of a transformation as I did if, if not. And it just like, you know, I had an incredible, I, I mean, I'm, I, I can't make any claims here, but I just want to say I'm no, I no longer require any pharmaceutical medications. So I don't know if I could say that, but, um, okay. So, and then, um, so we want to really focus on, of course, repairing the gut so that we could absorb all of all this amazing nutrition detoxing. So we want to detox those, um, you know, heavy metals as well as also, um, build up fecal matter, build up in our colon, because especially as adults, we've accumulated so many toxins. And as Chantal was saying with, um, her weight, it was toxin buildup. You know, a lot of us don't realize that we can't lose the weight because we're not releasing the toxins. And so it's so important to be, um, to be detoxing and using this repair so that our body doesn't need to hold on to these toxins. And so that our body can also properly absorb all of this amazing nutrition. So we really need to focus on colon health, um, cleaning, keeping our a clean colon, making sure that your child is, you know, going to the bathroom regularly. If not, by the way, I, I this wasn't mentioned on Dave's call, but I'm just going to add it in fiber blend. This is amazing to keep regular. My kids also, I added in if they're ever having any, like if I'm noticing that they're not going, you know, I stay on top of this stuff as a mom, we have to stay on top. Like what is, you know, our, our children's, um, movements and what is our move we need to stay on top of that we need to look look in the toilet and know you know if our thank you so much naiva for putting up these slides thank you um because yeah this is an amazing ingredients of our daily fiber blend it's so nutritious and it's delicious we have a even a, an, a flavor that is called the apple caramel one which is just incredibly delicious and um just you know full of amazing healthy fibers and fats so that we could be i actually love this one at night with my tart cherry and my um i uh, my pineal clear and you know just ensures that i think things are moving all every day i wake up and have a thank god <laughs> you know that's a huge a blessing to have a healthy bowel movement every day we want to make sure that our system is running smoothly so 
Um, yeah, you can see the amazing ingredients there. And I've even made things for my kids, like uh, uh, muffins with it and incorporate into the, you know, we make pancakes with these things, with all these superfoods we do. Uh, there's just, you know, Million Mom Movement has recipe guide for anyone who is uh, looking for some inspiration on our Million Mom Movement Facebook group and um, in uh, on the website. And as well, you know, I share things all the time so that, you know, we're as moms, we just need to follow, you know, other moms who are, who are doing it, who are because I had to see other ways, like Taz was our inspiration. So I saw her making like even gummies with the tart cherry juice. Kids love gummies. We can make gummies with all of our superfoods. There's amazing recipes out there that we can incorporate into our ch our children's life and into our life so, um, so that it's easy. And also I just want to share, you know, that this is giving people structure. And I think that is a huge part of why Purium is so effective for people, this protocol, these protocols, because most people who um, who are either on the spectrum or have children on the spectrum, they may not have that, uh, you know, ability to really like, you know, stay very on top. These are really, to be following this without having like this delivery system of it would be impossible to be able to juice every day and, um, like for source all of these ingredients, it would just be way too challenging. So I love that it's all in one place and it gives people some structure and support. So it's easy. Okay. That's the bait that that's why it works so well for me. It was easy. So um, I'm going to pass it to you, Nayeva, because I know you're going to um, share uh, a call to action and something that people can do now. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for all the great information that you shared here today. And thank you, Chantel, for coming and sharing your voice here, too. It's so great to have you on this call. And everything that, you know, we just want to share solutions so we can all feel better in our bodies. This is an everybody thing. And so I am so excited for, you know, all the people that were able to help through these organic superfoods. And I can say that, you know, for myself, this has been a huge game changer just as a super busy mom. You know, my my son at the time when I first got introduced to Perium, he was having some real difficulties in his life and and just with his mood and, you know, his cognitive function at school and all of the things that we shared today have helped him to focus more at school and to have that better cognitive function and better memory and all of those things. And so this is for across the board um, for each and every one of us, because we all need better nutrition. We all need to function, um, you know, at a higher level in this fast paced world. And these superfoods just are super convenient and something easy that we can um, use for ourselves and share with those around us that we love. And so I am super excited to um, just be here today with you all and be able to share on this topic. And so today our call to action is really to think about 10 people in your community that need to hear this message, right? Some people that are looking for an answer, looking for a way to feel better or to support others in feeling better and to share this recording with them, right? Let them know, share this message with them so that, that way they can hear um, Chantel's story and share and they can see all the different ways that they can maybe, you know, feel a little bit better in their body or have um, the support that they need in their health. And so um, that's our call to action. And then next week, our subject is going to be effortless elixirs. We're going to be going over the juice bar in a bag. So that's going to be a really fun um, presentation where we're going to be sharing some really great, you know, products and how to use them and some fun ways that you can incorporate them into your recipes. And so um, we'd love to invite you to become a part of our community if you're not already. If you're brand new here on this call today or you're listening to this recording, go ahead and reach back out to the person that invited you here or that shared this with you because they want to share something with you. They want to support you. They just want the best for you. Um, and that's why they shared this with you. So please reach back out to them and, you know, become a part of our community, like our Facebook page. We're going live with these calls weekly on our Facebook page. So you can share it from there to your stories or to your own Facebook page and groups. 
We also have a Facebook group called Million Mom Movement Official. We'd love to invite you to join us there. That's where the recordings are posted along with all of the links that we share here weekly. So if you are interested in reading that in the news piece again, or any of the resources that we share here, you can find them within that group with the replay. And then of course, follow us on Instagram, tag us on your posts, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram. I definitely look more on Instagram than Facebook to repost people. Um, so please use the hashtags that we, the Million Mom Movement, I am the Million Mom Movement, and we are the Million Mom Movement. You can use all three of them, or you can switch them out depending on the posts that you're making. And then, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's where the replays go up weekly, and we'd love for you to have access to those. We have over 300 replays currently. And so we have a lot of resources. So um, the easiest way to find them, a lot of times people reach out and they're like, hey, I'm looking for replays. How do I find them? I always tell everybody, you know what? Google Million Mom Movement and whatever subject you're looking for. And there might be a replay, but that's the easiest way because it's hard to filter through, you know, scroll through 300 replays and not get overwhelmed. So just a little tip, because I know that for myself, I get overwhelmed. And as a last little gift, because Allison mentioned it, I also want to give you all access to all of our recipe books. So we have a really great sad to rad that helps you to start transitioning from, you know, the standard American diet to what we call the radiantly activated devotion. <laughs> so we had to make something that rhymed. And um, and so we'd love for you to be devoted to your own health and well-being and those around you as well. And then, of course, the other recipe books are great. And so you can scan one of the QR codes, just so you know, on the last page of every single one of these books, there are QR codes for the other ones. So just get access to one of them and you'll have them all or take a screenshot of that page so you can share it, post it, um, share it with your team and family members that want access to more recipes. And so with that, I'm complete. Thank you so much, Allison. I'll pass it back to you. Thank you so much, Naiva, and uh, thank you for, well, yes, absolutely to share share this and share it. I hope everyone, um, you know, got that. Um, that those re that, That's such a beautiful thing to share with our, our customers and people who, you know, or even just people who are interested in this lifestyle. There's so many inspiring ideas in there. So I, I just saved that. I, like, I haven't looked through that in a bit. So I'm really excited about that. Um, thank you so much, uh, Naiva, for, for always holding this all together and, and organizing all of this. We, we appreciate you so much and we appreciate everyone in this community for showing up. And yes, please invite more people. This is the movement of many and we are the million movement of many. So we want millions and millions to wake up and, you know, take, imagine this world if we all are loving ourselves and, and feeling our best. This is, you know, the goal. So um, I hope everyone lo uh, loved today's call and we'll see you next week and, and with some new people that you bring on. So thank you so much.